How's it going everyone? So today's video is about mounts that you can put on the Taurus G3C. I guess also it includes the Glock 19, 70, any of the you know regular non-slimline models for the most part. But the mount that allows you to attach a red dot sight or you know various different you know pistol optics, green dot sight in this case. But yeah, so these are the mounts that keep you from having to mill out the slide. Now, I was going to get this attached to my slide, but I contacted some people, a local company, NC Engravers, and they said because the button is up here, it interferes with it, so this one can't be mounted or milled to mount directly to the slide. So I'm looking into other options but this was a good way to test some stuff. I have a couple different ones here. This particular one is a, basically like a universal. It's got spots so you can do like RMR. It's got spots that you can do like a RMSC, um, Venom Vortex, yada, yada, yada. So it's got a bunch of different options here on this one. I don't like this one as much as my, we do, the UTG one. This one was a much cleaner look. It or this one kind of it's hard to tell, but it protrudes up a little bit. This one was a little bit more flush fitting. It just seemed better quality. However, this one only fits RMR style. It does not fit the SRO or uh, Venom Vortex things like that. And this particular optic uh, has a much closer. Uh, mounting point compared to the RMR style. So I've ran a couple of these and I wanted to give my opinion on them, things that I dislike about the option, things I like about the option, and just give you, yeah, my overall opinion. So right off the bat, first things first, do they even work? Will my red dot stay in place? Am I going to be use, able to use a red dot without having issues with it? And with both of these, the red dot stayed in place. There seemed to be no movement whatsoever. If you're using it to, you know, charge it and stuff like that, it doesn't move or anything. They're very secure for the most part. And yeah, so it does work. You can attach a red dot using the rear sight gap and basically it just bolts in and holds in place. So if that was what you were curious about, if they work or not, yes, they do work. Now, there are a couple negative things to them. If you get your slide milled to a red dot sight, you get to be able to run suppressor height sights and be able to co-witness. For any reason this red dot fails, then you have a backup. With this, you don't. So that is one of the things that people dislike about them. It also raises the red dot, or in this case, like I said, green dot, up higher and so, you now your sight is sticking up higher. And for shooting purposes, that doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me at all. But it makes it kind of weird. You almost feel like you're angling your gun downwards. I don't know. It's hard to explain. But yeah, so it raises up higher. And some people dislike that. Other thing about it is it just simply doesn't look as good. Uh, it pushes the red dot back. This one was a little less, but it still pushes the red dot back. On a Glock, it fits a little bit better just because it is squared off like a Glock is, but on something like this Taurus G3C here that's rounded, it just, it looks out of place. It doesn't look like it fits, but it does work. So. The point of this was the Taurus G3C was going to be a budget build and I wanted to see my thoughts on these. Now I do want to get one milled onto here. I want it to fit better and I want to put suppressor height sights on there. And so that is going to be the end goal. But for the time being, as I tested out different red dots and stuff like that, this worked well and I got to kind of see how this 
firearm reacted to having a red dot on it. How well could I use it with a red dot on it? I've shot like a Glock 17 and stuff that had RMRs attached to it and things like that. So this isn't like my first handgun with a red dot, but this, uh, this is the first more like compact style gun that uh, I've had a red dot on and I do like it. I like having a red dot on here a lot and that's what made my decision that I am going to get the slide milled and get a red dot that works with it. AD has a new one that comes out at the end of December this year of 2021 or 2020. So right before 2021 and it's the spike and it's supposed to be, looks a lot like a knockoff version of a Sig Romeo Zero. So that might be something that I try to check out later in the future. It looked like it was priced around 150 bucks, so it doesn't break the bank. Not like an RMR where, you know, you're gonna spend 400 bucks for an RMR. The Sig Romeo is just a little bit more than that. So if I don't end up liking it, I probably will just go with the Sig Romeo. But yeah, so as far as milling the Taurus G3C, that's gonna be the route I go. But if you're looking for a budget alternative to where you can throw a red dot sight on here, you don't care that it sticks up a little bit or anything. Maybe you're just, your eyes are going bad and you don't wanna spend a ton of money on it. These little plates, you can get them anywhere from 15 bucks to 30 bucks. Uh, Lake Line has them, Amazon has them, a bunch of people have them. So I will put a link in the description if you are interested in getting one from Amazon. Like I said, this universal one does not look as good, but you can stick pretty much any red dot on the market on your handgun using using the universal plate. But that's what I got for you. I wanted to discuss the little plates because I've seen people ask questions and some people are like, oh, don't buy that, don't buy that, it's terrible. What's terrible about it? It looks terrible. It sticks the handgun up and you can't uh, co-witness with sights on here. If they had an option, I would say, if they could make one that pushes the red dot a little bit more forward and maybe even gave you some just like sights attached to it to give you the ability to co-witness. I know it'd be kind of difficult for them, especially universal models where this fits multiple types, but if they had specific models for specific red dots, they could get the heights down to where they could make sure that they maybe supply like a front sight and have a rear plate with like a rear sight on it. Yeah, it'd cost a little bit more, but it would give you a little bit more options. I think that'd be a good idea for some of these companies to maybe look into, especially for like the more popular um, red dot sites for people that just simply don't want to get their, you know, slide milled. But yeah, so that's what I got for you. I hope you found this video informational. If you would hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We are less than 20 subscribers away from the MCK giveaway. So that video will be coming up soon and I will be making a video discussing how you get entered in that. So if that's something you're interested in doing, make sure that you hit the bell notification down below. That way you get notified when that video comes out. That was my quick discussion about the little plates that you can get for your slide that go into the site. They do work. They're not the best, but they are a good alternative if you're not quite sure if you're really ready to fully commit to a red dot site or anything like that. Other than for that, yep. I'll catch you later.